everybody welcome to episode 12 of the beer chasers so unfortunately john and i have had a pretty busy december pretty busy january so far so we haven't had a chance to go out and film any new content but fear not we do have some old content that we're going to share with you today so basically when we first started the show we filmed like five or six tastings one after another because we weren't sure exactly when we'd be able to get together how often we'd be able to do things but um the show kind of took off we started getting invited to places so we never went back to some of this footage so I went back to the archives, I put together some footage, and we're going to check that out today. So the first bit of content is going to be a tasting of a beer called Florida Cracker. Let's check it out. Florida Cracker is a Belgian-style white ale brewed by the Cigar City Brewery Company out of Tampa, Florida. The beer touts moderate notes of orange peel, coriander, and hints of vanilla with an upfront citrus flavor with coriander notes that lead into lemon-like notes and finishes with citrus and flowers. It has an ABV of 5%, an SRM of 3, an IBU rating of 18, Rated Beer has a score of 89, Beer Advocate has a score of 85. All right, well, uh, wheat ales are generally uh, beers, uh, beers made with coriander and orange peel, coriander being the spice and the orange peel giving that nice sweet flavor to it. Uh, Wit beers are typically whiter wheats. Um, you can get the white beers like Blue Moon or something that is like more orange and golden in flavor. But this is going to be pretty light in flavor. Like I said, SRM of three, so that's yeah, really real light. I mean, it doesn't doesn't get much lighter than three, you know, two yeah. and one. But yeah, it's pretty pretty. Uh, light. Still looks darker than a Budweiser somehow. Yeah, know. that's, that's always nice. Bud Budweiser like <laughs> negative four. Oh, well, they're lager. <laughs> I drink lager, so they're one. <laughs> All right. So the, first impressions. Um, yeah, the first impressions. Uh, we let it sit for a minute or two. The head kind of dissolved pretty quickly, but we got about a finger to two. You know, finger measurement is simply put your finger next to the glass, and if that's how high the head is, then it's one finger. Um, what about when I got fat fingers compared to your regular oh, fingers? Oh, then you got one it's and one a half. fat finger. <laughs> one fat finger or one to two regular fingers. Appearance-wise, it's exactly what I would expect out of a whip bear. A nice, cloudy, small, bubbled yeah. um, head on it. It's, it dissipated pretty quickly. Cloudy because it's unfiltered usually. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's unfiltered, meaning that uh, they don't try to use anything to take away those like proteins and starches. They just let it as it is, brew it, and put it right in the bottle or the keg. So um, it's got a nice, beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, like I don't know, a yellow, golden, orange color. It's yellow. It's so beautiful. I don't know how to describe that. Uh, basically, the standard wit beer color, I'd say. Uh, to me, I'm the first thing I'm getting up front. There's definitely some sort of orange, mm -hmm. kind of citrus of some sort. The orange and the coriander are the first two things I notice. Uh, coriander is that spice you're going to notice, which is so traditional in wit beers. Uh, you can't, you almost don't find a wit beer without coriander because it says like a traditional Belgian spice. It gives it a defined character. Yeah. And coriander on its own, I know when you crush it, I brew with it a couple times, it definitely has a very orange, needle mm -hmm. kind of smell to it. Very, very hint of vanilla, and it might have been because I read it had vanilla, you know, you said it had vanilla, but like there is a sweetness, and if I didn't know it was vanilla, I wouldn't really know what it was, but I would say, yeah, I can smell a little bit of vanilla there. Definitely a wheat beer. Definitely a wheat beer. Yeah. It's, um... Now, how would you define that wheat beer kind of taste? Like, I, I can't describe it, but you can tell when you're drinking a wheat beer compared to, you know, a regular ale or something like that. Yeah, um, wheat is, uh... Biscuity, it's very like bready and biscuity almost. Like, um, it's more towards the mouthfeel, but it's got like a full body back to it. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a strong beer. Like, I don't know how to say that. I want to say if it's sour or it's bitter, not yeah. bitter like a hops, but there's definitely like when you have a wheat beer, it's got some sort of like extra. Yeah, I just can't put my, my finger on it, but there's definitely like a certain flavor that they have. I mean, it's kind of comparing like white bread to wheat bread, you know? Right, like, exactly. Wheat bread's got that kind of more just characteristic to it, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, definitely one of the first, uh, after the initial orange and coriander comes, that biscuity background. Yeah, for sure. Yeast. I was just going to say that. Like up front, it's kind of it's kind of bitter a little bit. You get some of that citrus, but then comes kind of this, I don't want to say sweet, but like something comes from behind that kind of like mm -hmm. finishes out. So it's almost, I almost enjoy the aftertaste more than I do the actual taste. I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that, yeah, definitely. All right, so um, for the rating system, appearance-wise, it's got the wood bear traditional look. I'd give that a four or five, somewhere in that range. Let's go with five because it looks beautiful. Uh, nose, I'm gonna give it. Let's see one more time. A four. I mean, it's a little lacking in certain areas compared to like the you know my favorite Saint Bernardus wood bear, mm -hmm. um, but it's it's a super good one. Um, taste, I would give it probably a four as well. It's got a solid flavor, you know, nice flavoring to it. Coriander. 
comes through, the orange peel comes through and all that. So four out of five. Uh, mouth feel, I don't know what to give that one. What do you, I mean, it's got a nice crispiness, which I guess is what a wood beer is supposed to have. So, I guess another four. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think that's solid? Yeah, that I think a four would be good for it. And then, over, so overall, I'm going to give this a, uh, I guess a three and a half or four out of, uh, four out of five. I mean, it's nothing wrong with it. It's a solid beer. I would drink one any day of the week. I can find it a lot of places around us. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it, that makes me excited that we got a beer like this around us. Yeah. What's uh, your uh, rating? I think overall, I'm going to give this a six. It's, um, it's good, but there's just some confusing flavors in there. I know, like, there, there's a citrus and a coriander, and I can taste all that, but just with the... With the wit and the wheat, maybe it's the style, maybe it's not super familiar with the style. It's just, there seems to be conflicts, some conflictions in there, and I tend to like the aftertaste better. So, I'm going to give it a six. Again, it's not a terrible beer. I would drink it again. Um, I would not probably buy it again, but, you know, if it was available, I would drink it. So, you know, six, solid, but not, not outstanding. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, Florida Cracker. Florida Cracker. All right, so that was the Florida Cracker beer review. So coming up next, I went back to the last couple episodes of Raw Footage, and I picked out a couple outtakes and bloopers. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Unfortunately, it's only the last few episodes. I had some hard drive space issues in the past where um, as soon as I render a video, I pretty much had to get rid of all the raw footage. Everything's HD. takes up a lot of space. Uh, so we're only going to go back a couple episodes, unfortunately, but there's a couple cool nuggets in here for you. So let's go ahead and check that out. I have good quality equipment that's gonna last a while, and that peace of mind is worth it to me. I've talked to a bunch of home brewers who've all said the same thing. There's a f***ing plane, and this room shot. And then say which one of those we think is which. So, is first the hef... Ah! It's meant to do a f***ing detail. God damn it. Right. Yeah, so how this is gonna work is, we're gonna, each one of us is gonna rank each beer. First, best to worst. And then from there, we're gonna think, we're gonna guess which one goes to which. <laughs> ah, I know. I think, guess which. Yeah, we got five Hefeweizens we're gonna drink today. We've got the Erdinger, Polaner, Hofbrau, Weistefaner, and. I got out of order. Out of order. Yeah. So I was like, I, I knew you were gonna fuck up too since you did not like that. No, no, no. Nice sound effects. <laughs> Thanks to Willow for coming and helping us out today. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for having us. No problem, and hope to see you back for another tasting for sure. Yeah. I said thanks for having us. <laughs> no, that's cool, dude. It, was, it worked. It worked. <laughs> we'll do it again. Yeah. Well, no, that's cool, dude. I'm not. You guys can use that. All right. Clip. <laughs> Clip from the other clip. Yeah. Thanks for having us. What the? Yeah. Us. All right. <laughs> Good. He's got. He's got a dude on his shoulder here. What's this fucking? All right. So here we have the. Alright, so here we have the Omegon Triple Perfection. Yeah, here it's a, um, sorry, I hear, I read. I hear. It's the only time I've ever seen this beer available, so close enough. It's our shoe, it's our show, we'll do what we want. Shoe. It's our shoe. It's our shoe, whatsoever. Yeah. It's our shoe. Yeah, we'll, we'll have like, it's just like, I'm not like this. It's like, I can't Alright, so those tastings complete. That's going to wrap up episode 10 of the Beer Chasers. Yeah, really? I was like, yeah, oh my god. Oh, shit. That's a good blooper. Oh, man. We were like, what are those guys getting high? You couldn't plan that anyway. Oh, I didn't even mean to. It hurt. Right here. Oh, miserable at this point. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. So, dude, you know my favorite thing about the Santa hats? What's that? You can thrash the f*** out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I gotta tighten it up. Yeah. So, cool. You know my favorite thing about these Santa hats? What's that? Is you get to rock the f*** out. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> now stick around. <laughs> oh, man. I popped off, too. I gotta tighten it down or something. Yeah. So you know my favorite thing about these Santa hats? What's that? Is you get to rock the hell out. Oh, hell yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to wrap up episode 12 of the Beer Chasers. So definitely appreciate you guys checking it out. If you could, please comment, like, subscribe, share, retweet, all that fun stuff. Help us get the word out there. We'd appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to mention that we're going to be at the Deland Craft Beer Festival. It's on February 8th. Uh, tickets are 35 bucks. You can get them at thelandcraftbeerfestival.com. It's supposed to be 70 or 80 different vendors. There's going to be national vendors, local Florida breweries. Um, 
Home brewers are going to have their own little section. We're going to be out there. You can come check out some of our beers. I'm also going to be giving away a Mr. Beer kit setup. So uh, if you guys are interested in maybe getting a home brewing, it's a good starting point. It's kind of where I started. Um, but yeah, it should be a good time. From what I understand, this is the craft beer festival to go to. So I uh, hope to see you guys out there, man. Come by and say hello. So anyways, episode 12 is done. Until next time, we'll see you later. Beer is done. Beer is done. Beer is done. And stop. Beer is done. Beer is done. Beer is done. Let's go drink some beer.